delicious tutorial made in blender by Roxy let's begin working on these wind chimes but before that let me show you what you can do with them and how you can use them okay perfect and delicious so I will delete the default cube I will create a cylinder S shift Z Something like this, tab, select this top face, E to extrude, S, make it smaller, E, Z, say E, S, pretty small, something like this, E, Z, and bring it up, maybe a little more. Now in edit mode, press Shift S, cursor to selected, object mode, right click, say origin to 3D cursor. Now let's create a torus and here in the left you have some options and make this minor radius a bit smaller. Let's say like this. And also I want minor segments to be a bit higher. Let's say 24. Tab and now at the bottom here we have to select a face, shift S, cursor to select it, go in object mode, select this one, shift S, selection to cursor. Now we select the toggles again, go in edit mode, and here we have to count five, one, two, three, four, five, and the sixth one, shift S, cursor to select it, object mode, duplicate this one, shift D, Say Shift S, selection to cursor, and keep going like this, skipping five faces on the same line. One, two, three, four, five, six, one, Shift S, cursor to selected, object mode, duplicate this one, Shift S, selection to cursor, and go like this all the way around. Oh, what is this? What are you doing? Oh. Oh, this looks delicious. Oh, what do you have here? This looks tasty. Oh, tasty. Oh, blender. Oh, what is that? Ready? Give me a cookie. Where is your cookie? <laughs> this was fun. And here, after you place the last one, you should have five faces between them. Now that I have them all, I have to resize them. Select the first one. With this face selected, say G, Z, make it taller, and delete the face. Select the next one. Select this face at the bottom, G, Z, and make it a bit smaller, and delete the face. Next one. Select the bottom face, G, Z, Make it, it a bit smaller, delete the face, and so on all the way around. Now select the torus, shift S, cursor to selected, UV sphere, make it smaller, something like this, bring it up, shift A, Cylinder, S, Shift, Z, and make it pretty small. Now take this uh, line that we just created, this small cylinder. Select here, this top face. Shift, S, cursor to selected. Right click, set origin to 3D cursor. Now we select the ball. We select this vertex at the bottom. Shift, S, cursor to selected. And take this one, shift S, selection to cursor. Let's go into top view, R, X, and bring it like this. And let's got it on the Z axis to match this line. Go in edit mode, select this face, 
G, G and bring it a bit up. Now we can duplicate it. Shift S, selection to cook soil, R, Z, and start moving it to match all these other lines. Shift D, cancel the movement, R, Z. Shift D, cancel the movement with right click, R, Z. And go like this all the way around. And this is what we have until now. We have few more elements to add to this wind chimes. First, let's add a curve, a Bezier curve. And I select this uh, pole here and the top vertex in the middle. Shift S, cursor to select it. Now I go to this Bezier and I take this point in the left, shift S, selection to cursor. Now I have this point selected and I'll select also the next one and together I'll say subdivide. Okay, so I have another point in the middle. I'll take the one in the right, shift S, selection to cursor, like this. Okay, and now I'll bring this one up, G, Z, and G, X. And I'll rotate it to make it look good. Let's go into top view and bring it here in the middle. And rotate it to make it look straight. Okay, and when you are happy with what you have, object data properties, geometry, and here you have bevel and in depth you can make it more thick. And then you right click and say here convert to mesh. She is smooth. You can also add a subdivision surface. It is smooth. Apply. Now let's create a cylinder. Mesh cylinder. S shift Z to cancel the Z axis. Let's make it thin. S Z. Maybe it's too much. Now take this ball. Press shift D Z. Bring it down. So I duplicate it. And now we have one more element and this is done. Let's create a plane. G, Z. Press tab, add a cut. Delete these two vertex in the left. Object mode. Modifier, mirror. On the Y. And over here we have to shape it in a, an interesting shape that we want. I add some cuts. And I shape it in a interesting shape. I add also here clipping. You can look at me first and then you can do your own design. I'll select this edge in the middle with GZ. I'm bring it a bit down. Apply this mirror in object mode. Let's add a subdivision surface. Shade smooth. Maybe make it on two. Apply, add a, modifi a solidify modifier. Actually, I want to bring that uh, back. So before you apply, add a solidify and bring it up. Before the subdivision, yes, this is better. Make it a bit thick. Apply and apply. Something like this. This looks good. Let's make it smaller. R, Y, 90. Select here the vertex at the top. Let's say these two vertex. Shift S, cursor to select it. Now I go in object mode, right click, and say origin to 3D cursor. Okay, and let's do the same over here. At the bottom, select this one. Select this face at the bottom. Shift S, cursor to select it. Now take this one, shift S, selection to cursor. And let's move this cursor out of the way so we we'll see what we are doing.
Let's make it a bit smaller. And this is it. This is how you create the wind chimes. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video. Bye! Oh. <laughs> is this blender? Let me take a look. What is this? Let me see. Oh, this looks delicious. <laughs>